Hey guys, in this video I got up and coming new Filipino vlogger Mia and Hello. I'm gonna and I'm gonna interview her. Stick around. Okay, welcome Mia. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. I appreciate it. How are you? I am good, thank you too for having me here. Alright, so Mia, you, you are a new vlogger. You just started a channel and we'll we'll get into that in a second, but can you introduce yourself to us? Where do you come from? Um, hi everyone, my name is Mia. I'm from Dumaguete and um, I lived here for a very long time, I'd say. I grew up here since I was in preschool, so um, my family is here for almost um, maybe 20 years, I would say, yeah. Okay, and do you have brothers and sisters? I do have brothers and sisters, and there are seven of us, two brothers and five sisters, including myself. Okay, so big family, and are you the youngest, the middle, the oldest? I am the middle. The middle, okay. Yeah. And so your brothers and sisters, are they all married, or? Um, one of my sisters is married. Two of them are just, you know, living partner. Okay. Yeah. And do they all live in in the Dumaguete area as well? Yes, they they all live here in Dumaguete because you know we we don't want our family to be like you know just living everywhere. We want our family to be in one place so we could visit them. You know, visiting one place and then go to that place again like that. Okay, so you're all in the area. Okay. And uh, so Mia, do you? Go to school? Have you finished school? Um, right now, I am still inquiring um, Silliman because I want to go to uh, Silliman for nursing. And right now, um, I'm studying for my entrance exam this coming summer break. So, yeah. Okay, fantastic. And uh, what made you choose nursing? Um, I chose nursing. That's because um, before I, I really want to help my parents, you know, because my mom's been to the hospital a lot. So, like, I, I want to know what's her um, illness. And also, I want to help people, poor people especially. So, yeah. Fantastic. So, what made you want to do a YouTube channel? Um, I decided to make my channel just because um, I want to help other people. Um, you know, I want to help them navigate the Philippines. I want to help them um, understand the, the living here in the Philippines, life here in the Philippines. Okay, so your channel's catered or directed towards foreigners to help them? Yes. Okay, so what? Uh, what kind of information will you uh, give to the foreigners? Um, the information that I want to give to the foreigners are um, all about um, foreigners, the dating here in the Philippines, mm -hmm. the cost of living, and you know places that you could go and see, places that uh, you want to stay, things like that. Okay. Yeah. So there are a lot of Filipino vloggers. What will be different from them? Um, with your channel? Uh, well, my channel is going to be different from them and that's because um, my channel is all about information and you know, helpful videos that, um, that can help partners you know, navigate the entire Philippines. Okay, great. Okay, so if uh, a new foreigner is coming out to Dumaguete, where would you tell him to visit? What should he see? Um, the place that I would, the places that I would recommend to the partner uh, to live or you know to see, that would be um, Baguio, Palawan, or um, Moabo if you are sociable or Cebu, the kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. What about here in Dumaguete? Well, there's not much to see here in Dumaguete because you know there's a lot of vloggers here in Dumaguete and. As you can see, 
there's a lot of, um, you know, they've been to different places and they vlog about it. Well, maybe they could go to Valencia. Okay. That's cool also. There's a lot of waterfalls in, in nature here, right? Yes, there is. Good. So you want to be a, a bit different and your channel is really more about helping foreigners coming yes. out to the Philippines. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Where would you like to go when things uh, open up, which hopefully is soon? Well, um, I would love to go back to Muagual, Baguio, and Palawan. That's the two places. Okay. Because, you know, I want to experience other places. I want to experience the nature um, that that places offers. Okay. And one of those places you've already been to? Yes, that's Muagual. What been did, there once. What did you like about, about um, Mobile? I like Muagual because um, they have this white beach, you know? their white sand beaches, snorkeling, scuba diving. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, now have you done some videos on your channel already? Uh, yes. Okay, and what is the name of your channel? It's called Filipina Life with Mia. Filipina Life with Mia, okay, and there will be a link down in the description, guys. And uh, what videos have you done already? Um, just two videos. Uh, one is my life in the bamboo, and one one of them also is dating. Okay, so the dating one, what what is that video about? What kind of advice do you give? Um, in a dating one, I just talk about the red flags of a girl if they're dating, uh -huh. you know, and what to watch out, that kind of thing. Okay, so can you give us a preview? Give us one red flag that you would tell foreigners to watch out for? I would tell um, what one red flag that I that I know of is um, if for example a Filipina is chatting you mm -hmm. and you just suddenly says I love you which is not true <laughs> <laughs> because you know you don't know that person and why, why are you saying I love you to that person if you don't know that person? So that's a red flag. Yeah. So, so if the girl tells you she loves you after an hour of chatting, that's a red flag, huh? Yes. <laughs> Maybe she said that to different partners, also lots of them. Very good point. So guys, check out Mia's channel so you can uh, check out the whole video. And what is the uh, other video about? You said bamboo, bamboo house? Yes. Uh, uh, my life in a bamboo house is... Um, I, I sleep in that bamboo house for like just still be three nights uh -huh. and I show to them what my life is and my father's building our new house so I'm going to be showing them that also. Okay, that's fantastic. How, how big is the bamboo house? How many people are there? Um, including kids. There's a lot of them. I cannot count. <laughs> There's a lot. Yeah. And, and how big is it? How many rooms? Um, my father said that he's just going to be at, like three rooms. Three so, rooms. Like, we're um, just going to be like sardines, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so th uh, three rooms on the new house? Yes. Okay, what about the old house, the bamboo house? Um, the old house, we, we have two rooms. Two rooms, okay. Yeah. And a lot of people there. Yes. <laughs> okay, so guys, check out Mia's channel so you can see the whole video on that. Um, what else, uh, where else would you like to go, Mia? Anywhere else? Uh, I think I just want to explore the whole Philippines. And after exploring the Philippines, I would love to go to Norway or okay. Spain. That's my choice. So you want to do some international travel? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Right. So, Mia, do you have, do you mostly like Filipino food or do you like a lot of Western food too. Um, I don't know any 
Western food. <laughs> no? I think I, I love Filipino food a lot. Okay. I, I eat a lot of food, but you can see it in my body. <laughs> but you stay you skinny. I can't think of any Western food right now. What I think is a Filipino food. Ah, uh, okay. So you like Western food, but you just forgot the name. Yes. Okay. What is your favorite Filipino food? Um, I love chicken curry. Chicken curry, okay. Yes. So, chicken. what would you tell a foreigner to try if he comes out here? Um, you gotta try chicken curry, <laughs> of course. That's what I'm chicken curry, say. okay. Yeah. What about uh, Lei Chon or? Um, I don't really like Lei Chon. I just love the skin, the crispy skin. The crispy skin, okay. Yeah, but I don't like the, you know, the meat in it. The meat, okay. And Sinigang, what is Sinigang? Sinigang is, uh, it's kind of like, it's a soup, uh, but it tastes more tamarind. It's tamarind taste, you know, that you have this, um, I forgot the taste it, but it is very yummy food. It's made of pork. Okay. And some vegetables in it. And you have a tam tamarind, um, spices that you mix that makes the food delicious now do you like any of the exotic filipino food like balut uh, uh, durian i i don't i never eat balut in, in my life you haven't wow i haven't okay because like i feel sad for the the duck yeah <laughs> and one thing i love about the exotic food is that there, it's called isao. It's the empty skin of um, chicken. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I like. You like that, okay. Yeah. And um, so, Mia, yeah, we've been talking for a while now. Um, so, what is the name of your channel again? Uh, my channel's name is Filipina Life with Mia. Okay, so guys, check out Filipina Life with Mia. It will be down in the description. Please help support her. Uh, this new up and coming Filipina vlogger. And uh, thank you so much, Mia. Thank we'll you. see you later.